What's up there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. Guys, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to try not to uh, take too long in this video, but there is a lot to talk about. Uh, we, uh, the channel, has definitely hit 1,000 subscribers, and I thank you guys. Um, for all the guys that have been, you know, hung with me from the very beginning, thank you very much. Always appreciate it. And for the new people, and uh, I'll give them props, uh, him or her, I'm not sure. It's called, Ep <laughs> they call themselves Epic Speed Racer 10, and I like the way they did it. They went, hi, uh, hi right back at you. Uh, <laughs> but he's the th he, he or she is the thousandth, the thousandth subscriber. Um, now, I've always said, you know, numbers to me really don't mean much. It's the fact, though, uh, you know, it's just, you know, there's so many people just jumping on board wanting to know what this stuff is. Now, keep in mind to all the new people, this is the way my channel works. Um, I will show you what I, I see that uh, NASA is trying to hide in these pictures. I will give you an idea what I think they are. In other words, if I looked at, let's say right in the middle of this picture, I seen this rock right here and it somehow it looked like a toaster. I'm going to say this looks like a toaster. Now, do I mean it is a toaster? No. All I'm saying is I'm trying to give you guys the idea, the shape of the item and the details of the item. And so it gives you an idea what the shape of it is. Um, I have pictures in here um, uh, about a lot of, uh, on Mount Shop because the uh, the mission is supposed to end at Mount Shop. This is where the Curiosity is supposed to end up. So the Curiosity rover is supposed to end up in this mountain. I think the whole thing is BS. I've said it countless times. I think there's an actual road with vehicles on it, and I actually got videos showing this. Now, you may say, well, uh, you know, I think you've lost it. I mean, there's nothing on Mars. Well, that's what we've been told. And that's what I was told when I was growing, uh, growing up and going through school and so on and so forth. But when you clearly, when you look at these pictures, you can clearly see that these things are not natural. They're not rocks. Now, you guys can call them a sink for all I care. The bottom line for me is ask yourself this simple question. Are these things, well, questions, because is it natural or naturally made? And if it's not, if you don't believe it is, then is it intelligently made? And if your answer is, well, it looks intelligently made, okay, then ask yourself the underlying question, why is it on Mars? It's plain and simple, guys. It's, it doesn't get any easier. And that's just, I'm trying to find the truth. I find things that are hidden, things that are not so hidden. And then I say, I tell you what I think these things are. And then I say, guys, give me your take on it. What do you think this stuff is? If you say, no, I just stick it simple, simply rocks. Well, then I'll say, well, thanks for you know watching the video and sharing your comment. And, uh, you know, uh, best regards, Chris. And that's it. If you think it's something else, tell us. I mean, that's what this channel's all about. Let's find the truth. Okay. So, you know, um, let's roll on. I want to do a continuation of my buddy's video. He just did... Uh, you guys have to check his channel out. He goes by Mars Unmasked. Um, his name is Santo, so he calls himself San, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, but he just did his latest video. is Curiosity Rover Sol 553. Mechanical pots with a question mark. Machinery with a question mark. And who knows? So... I think he hit it dead nuts on, guys. To be honest with you, he did a great job of this. And I want to just go over that. But there's other things I found in the video or the picture as well that you guys will see in the video. Okay. So let's jump right into it. This is the picture that you'll, you'll get because I'm going to put it in the link as always. You guys, for the newcomers, always look in the bottom of my description. You will have the link. So you guys can check this stuff out yourself. This stuff is not pulled out of our rear end. This stuff is absolutely here. Um, and this one here is almost like boom in your face kind of thing. I mean, it doesn't get any easier. Um, I see what also looks like a vehicle buried in the ground. Well, at least three quarters of the way buried in the ground. I see mechanical other parts. But I want to show you the thing he really pointed out in his video. And he couldn't be more right if he wanted to. I give him props and I definitely concur. What he's found is absolutely there. Um, and But it goes a little deeper than that. I mean, there's actually more to it. Uh, this is what he showed, and let's see if I can get my mouse to work here. It's a little crazy on me. Right here in this area, he shows right here. And I think he shows right here as well. I mean, there's multiple things. I'm not going to go over everything he's going on in his because he does a great job on his video. Check him out when you guys get a chance. And subscribe to him because I'll tell you what, he takes a little bit more time with his videos as far as talking and really going through it. I, on the other hand, talk a little faster. And some people have said, yeah, you talk really fast, so on and so forth. But that's because I usually have a lot to share in my videos, and I don't want to make it an hour video. Heck, I don't want to watch an hour video. Why would you want to? So anyway, let's get on with it. So he shows this right here. And when you really clean this thing up, you can really see this. I mean, I could see it in his video, so he doesn't really have to clean it up. I could see it. And you can see what looks like. I mean, you look at this thing. It's got this weird thing right here and this other pot sticking out. 
I forget exactly what he calls it, but I'm going to bring that in a little clearer for you guys, and you guys will be able to see this. Right here looks like a vehicle to me buried in the ground. If it was facing you, this would be the front windshield. Well, of course, it's buried, three quarters. And it looks like the roof is kind of partially caved in. Okay. And then when you look at the side, it looks like you can see windows with a separation between the two. Now, is it a car? I don't know. I'm just telling you what it looks like. I, th I think of things I see here on Earth, and I relate them to what I see on Mars. But um, you'll see other stuff here as well. This is what I want to bring out to you guys, too. And you'll see this in a lot of good videos. Look, Like I said, Will's What's Up in the Sky. Um, he does a great job on his videos. Check him out. Uh, my other buddy, Christian, we go back and forth, as well as, uh, um, you know, like I said, uh, Santos over at Moss and Mass. We we text. We go back and forth with... Uh, on Skype, so on and so forth. But check this stuff out. Look at this digital, digital, I call it like digital blacking out or blocking right here. Look at this. And it's not just the only place with it. Look at it. All over the place, they try to take this stuff out. But you can bring it out. You can bring out the actual lines. What they're trying to do is obscure the actual lines of whatever it is they're trying to block. And if you can do that, then, yeah, you can actually see the shape of these items. Um... This, I mean, up here, I mean, there's just some crazy things like 90 degree angles. He points out this right here, 90 degree angle. Um, there's other things in here as well. And there's a little bonus in the background here. It looks like something might be going on there. Mm, maybe not so much, but um, anyway, uh, check this thing out. Just like kind of just sticking out of the ground. Has this weird, you know, when you zoom in, I mean, it pixelates bad. So you got to kind of dress this up. He, he points this out as well. Let's look like some mechan mechanical pot. He even said it may be biological in nature. And when you look at it, it looks like some kind of weird skull with its mouth open. And it's just like its backbone. And it's just laying there with two legs. And I mean, but it could be mechanical. You guys will always have the last word. You guys are the judge of this. So let's get on with it. I'm going to jump into uh, Photoshop and I'm going to show you what I've got. Let's jump in. This is only 66.67% zoomed in. So let's jump right into it. I want to show you what he points out. And I definitely uh, agree. He definitely found something here. Um, if this doesn't point out there's some kind of modern thing going on Mars, then uh, there's just no convincing anybody. And that's not what I'm here to do. I'm just here to show you the anomaly like he did in his video. And you guys make your own decision. But again, bottom line is, is it intelligently made or naturally occurring? I don't believe the natural. But again, you guys get the final word. But anyway, right here, he shows this. Now I'm going to take up the shadows, and you can highlight. So anything underneath, you can kind of take the shadow out of it. Watch it like underneath these rocks. Watch this. See how it's like a little bit darker? Okay. Jump it out. Expose it. So we can dock it up and see some details in this. And the reason why I show you these steps, so you guys can do this yourself if you've got Photoshop or something similar to it. Okay. Let's hit, hit it with the auto color. Take out some of the orange a little bit. And then let's, let's blur it up and find out what we... Let's see what we can find. Let's even zoom in just a hair bit more. This is at 400%. So, and you can see how it gets pixelated really bad from this. Exposure, auto call it. Now, let's hit it with the blur. Look how that smooths out, guys. Look at that. Boom. It looks like, a, the best way I can describe it, looks like a mailbox with a paddle sticking out of it. I mean, I don't know any other way to say it. Look at it. Goes right here, and you can actually see the other side. Goes like this. And from front to back, comes down, goes to here, and it looks like this weird paddle with some kind of little decal or something on the face of it. Now, what that is, I couldn't tell you. But see that right there? Now, look what's under it, though. That's what's puzzling. Look at this. Up, corner. Goes across, all the way across, and has these dividing marks here. Like there's something more to it than just that. Okay? He shows also this box he points out. I call it a box. It's some kind of corner of some... Other structure, something like that. Like it, this is flat, but it actually comes out like a roof. Like if you had a roof extended out from your maybe one of your windows or something, kind of like sticks out like that there. But when you really take a good look at this stuff, well, here's a good example. Let me just stop here again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to vert this, and you guys will be able to see the outline of this a little bit better. Watch this. Look how clean that is. That is clearly not a rock. He hit this dead on when he called this a machine or some kind of machine part. Uh, machinery, call it what you will. Look at this. Comes comes up here. Has this dividing, or this line come down. Up, corner, here, here, and so forth. So, yeah, props to him for that. Um, what I seen, too, is also, is check this out. When you go over here to the left, what kind of rocks do this? I'm just going to just go back to blurry a little bit, just for a moment. Right here. 
Look at the way this stuff comes out. And then there's another one right here following along it. Now let's hit the smart shop and see that right, right there. It just goes down, in. Then this one comes down and does the same thing. But check this out. Let me just jump out. That's 400%. Let me just come out a little bit. So clear it up here a bit. Look at this. Straight across. Then it looks like it comes out like a rounded piece with two designs on it or something. Goes back in and then straight out. There's something that's coming down from this. I mean, just look at the details of this thing. Look at this. Even when we invert this, see whatever that is going up. It crawls up along this wannabe rock. Okay. Right here. It's got three dark circles in it right there. Shape like an oval shape. There's just so many things. I mean, this, this, oh my God. I mean, just look at the details in this. I've always said, guys, NASA is not letting this rover just lollygag around. They didn't say, hey, here's a Polaroid, have at it. And just, you know, just cruise along the Martian surface. Just, eh, just take random snapshots. No, they're taking these pictures. Now, whether this stuff is naturally encrusted in the ground, but they've also manipulated a lot of these pictures. I mean, they just went to town on these things. And that's what this channel's all about, is to bring this stuff out with their hiding. Okay, so look at this right here. It's smooth, comes out of here, goes around here, kind of rounded. And then look what's on the top of it. Some kind of weird, I'm going to call it a smooth out corner or points of a, of a triangle. Like this would be the top and then it comes down the bottom and then the other bottom. But look, it has this little arch type thing and it's something right there. I mean, just look at the details, the finer details in this stuff. Now, see how this went from these little lines pixelated out, digitally pixelated out, to smoothing out. It takes a lot of that out. Even though you can see the color of it, it still smooths the lines. That's the key. Um, come up here. There's something right there. I almost thought there was a shape of a car right there. See that right there? But there's machinery or some kind of weird parts going to that. Look at this. Going into this, going... Look how smooth that is going up into this piece here. This is just pot strewn all over the place. I've said it a hundred times. Will over there, what's up in the sky, has said it. Um, you know, uh, like I said, Santos over at uh, Mars and Mast, as well as Christian over at the uh, Olympus Sky. These guys have all pointed out... You guys can go to my home channel and see these uh, guys as well as uh, Nikki. Uh, she's on there as well. Check her stuff out. Check these channels out. These are the ones I believe that are making the honest effort to show what's really on Mars. They're not just trying to blow it up just to get numbers. They're actually showing what's really here. Um, there's where I said that it looks like this weird car kind of thing. And I'll, Look at this. Right there, it looks like the windshield, like I said. It looks like it's caved in. Got that center for the... And it separates the two side windows. But look what's beneath it, right here. Line comes down as a corner, goes across, boom, comes back down, and it also does the same thing. Is this come some kind of weird structure or part of a machinery or another vehicle? I don't know. See that right there? It's a little smoother now, and it goes down in the back here. Now, what this stuff is, I couldn't tell you. There's something else right next to it, right here. But these are clearly not just regular rocks. I mean... You know, and that's the, the cool thing about doing these pictures. You can bring this stuff out and to, to expose this stuff and just, you know, um, just look around for details. I mean, I can, you know, I'm going to let you guys find the smaller stuff. But like this here, look at this wannabe rock. It's actually got symmetrical, you know, it's just symmetrically in nature. Look at this. With some kind of weird circle or something there. Now, this does have, if I'm not mistaken, this should be the spot right here. Let me just go ahead and blow this up real quick. And then reshopping. Yeah, this is actually a stitch line. They actually put some pictures together because they did what they do is they stitch pictures together and make a panorama. So, and you can see where this is offset a little bit from the right to the left, but you can see there's pots on it. Look at this. There's different little, you know, details, call them what you will. I can't tell you what they are, but they're clearly there. There's pots strewn all over the place in this picture. My God, it's insane. stuff right here that just doesn't make any sense man it's just like it almost looks like a giant beak like a like a statue of a bird with an eye right here or something i don't i'm just saying i think that's what it looks like i'm not saying that's what it is and then you get all these other mechanical parts like this right here it looks like it's got that weird mailbox shape to it right here too as well see that right there and then you've got this squared off area here and something else goes all the way to here, and then it has like this, you know, this edge, and then it stops right here, and you can't tell where it goes after that. But he's also pointing out this here. You can check that again. You can check his video out and see what he says about it. Um, 
But, I mean, just look around in this thing. I mean, you look around. Sometimes in the brighty areas, there's also things hidden. So you got to really pay attention to that, too. Um, I mean, this even, I mean, you look at this. If you're looking at a vehicle point of view, it looks like there's a car laying right here. Looks like the body line, kind of a distorted wheel well with a wheel right underneath it. Front end of it right here. And then it goes up and there's the roof and looks like it could be windows and openings or windows right there or some kind of opening. See it? Wheel well, wheel, front end of it. And of course, keep in mind, guys, they do distort these pictures. Now, I'm not saying that's what that is. I'm just saying it kind of looked like it when I took a look at it and real quick and that's what it looked like to me. Um, even when you look at something way in the background here, it looks like there's something right there. And it goes up to the back here. It looks like it's like over on its side. There's something right on the side of it with a big circle and has like these lines coming down, straight coming down. I mean, just check this stuff out, guys. It's 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 crazy. Um, there's a lot of neat stuff in this picture. There's something right here. It looks like it's half cut off, but something that's got this weird opening to it. Right there. Um, right here. Look at this in the middle, almost right here. There's something round right here. Look at the way this piece comes out. Comes out, goes in, has this looks like triangular piece taken out of it. Goes back, does the same thing, almost symmetrical. Comes back out, and there's something right here, and there's something it's connected to. Something right here with a 90 degree angle. What this stuff is, <laughs> don't know. But to me, they're clearly not rocks, and that's all there is to that. And you can see that when I zoom back in. See this right here? It's got this weird design on it too. See it right there? It's got these one, two, three, and it has this weird piece. You can see it right there. One, two, three, and it has this weird other piece to it. Corner taken out, or that middle, what it looks like a triangular piece taken out. It, yeah, it's... I mean, just look at... Just take your time going over these pictures. People, you know, when you look at the picture like this, I agree with most people. You'd go, dude, they're rocks. Well, they look like rocks, and you'd be absolutely right. I, I wouldn't even argue with you. Until you get into this picture and you see these things, then you just go, what is going on here? Um, it's clearly things that are being hidden all over this in this area. Uh, that's all there is to it, especially, like I said, what my buddy Santos found right here. That clearly is machinery of some sort. That's all there is to it. So props to him, like I said. I mean, obviously, he didn't take the picture, but he did He did uh, search and find these things. I don't know if anybody else has done this particular picture or this particular area. He does point out right here, and you can see in his video what he says it is. But, you know, like I said, I mean, these guys, like I said, uh, you go to my home channel, you'll see this. Uh, like I said, I think I've got the four channels right now. These are the people I believe are doing honest work. You know, it's not just about advertisement or just for their other you know, uh, for another motive. They're actually doing this honest work and they're bringing this stuff to the people. So that's why I believe these guys are, uh, that's why they're on my, my home channel. Check these guys out, but also give some love over there to uh, uh, Santos over there, the Mars Unmasked. Um, you know, check his recent one out. Like I said, the Curiosity Rover Solve 553. And he calls it, you know, like I said, he questions mechanical parts, machinery, and who knows? I mean, you know. So guys, give this stuff a look at yourself. Tell me what you think it is. Like I said, I don't want to make this thing too long. Um, I do have other ones coming up. I know a couple of you guys, and I appreciate you guys doing this. I mean, a couple of you guys have already gotten on there saying, hey, is everything okay? I'm looking forward to your next pictures, your next videos. Yes, I've got some crazy ones coming up. Um, again, thanks everybody who's jumped on board recently as far as my subscribers and also the ones that have been with me all this time. I do appreciate it. Um, and like I said, bottom line is we're just trying to find the truth here. What is this stuff? And more importantly, what the heck is it doing on Mars? <laughs> so, you know... Again, welcome aboard to all the newcomers. Anyway, I'm going to jump on out of here. Um, I'm going to try to come up with some... Um, well, let's get rid of that. We didn't need that. Um, let's do this instead. All right. Anyway, thanks for uh, watching, guys. I'm going to try to come up with some other videos here this weekend because I got some crazy ones, most recent pictures. Um, you know, and for some reason, NASA's been having a problem with their site. I mean, the last couple of days, I couldn't... It wouldn't. The pictures wouldn't load. So God knows what they're doing to their pictures. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, always appreciate it. And I'm going to do my best to bring this stuff out for you guys and bring you some more interesting videos. With that, let me let you go. You guys have a good weekend. If I don't talk to you, have a good one. And I will talk to you and see you next picture or video.